Real talk. Real talk. Real talk with Tim McGee. I need to say, I got a drop, I know where they at. Yeah. <laughs> two in the front, two, two on the back. back. They ready to blow wherever they can. Baby, three fish, you get your soul snack. Fuck the little bitch, you gotta say it's black. Yeah. I'm gonna say, who the fuck told you the nigga they 60? I don't fuck that retired nigga bitch in the city. It's Lexo, baby. Welcome to another episode of Real Talk with Tim McGee. In case you haven't heard, Little Tim, a Quando Rondo affiliate, one of his homeboys who they say allegedly, but we don't have to say allegedly because we all saw the video. Uh, the man who is responsible for killing King Von was finally released on a $100,000 bail, which I don't understand what took so long, you know. Uh, he been had bail, so it's kind of make me wonder what's up with Quando and and their little camp, what took them so long to get him out? They love, you know, trolling his name and trolling what he did to Vaughn, you know, but they left him sitting in jail. But he's finally out now. And that's in addition to YB, also, young boy, you know, because he's down with uh, 4TK and all those Quindos, little crew. And he also was arrested last week on federal charges. And I said in my last videos that uh, a RICO charge may be pending and i still believe that because uh the details of you know all all the guns that uh were found in his video shoot and the drugs and so forth but so far he's the only one that's been charged and like i said they can't charge him with 14 guns when there's other people there and there's other people uh that was arrested with him so definitely a brico charge is pending and now that little tim is out i think that's going to add to the charge that the Fed in, it ends up putting on them because little Tim, if you kill somebody, usually real killers, when they kill people, they quiet about it. Not this generation. This generation is young and dumb. They kill somebody and then they want to troll and be all on the internet and so forth. And all they're doing is not only making their ops mad, but they're making everyday gangsters mad who's choosing sides because no matter what type of conflict it is in rap it's always going to be street niggas choosing sides that's just kind of how it goes and the things they're doing right now i'm gonna be i'm gonna just be honest with you i'm a street cat i i grew up in the streets you know and this drill rap and and all the shit they talking about i was doing that long before these cats was born before ron before rondo and quando and all these cats were born I was already doing shootings and did time in prison for murder and being shot and on trial for attempted murder of shooting a police officer. So I know how that street culture go. We didn't do all that bragging. When gangsters did talk, they talked in the cut amongst each other with other certified gangsters they knew that wasn't going to run their mouth. But Lil Tim and them, they're already getting out and making posts and, and trolling King Von and OTF and little Dirk and and Mimo and all the cats that are down with only the family. And of course, they all chimed in from Lil Dirk. And Lil Dirk, he's subliminal with his. Out of all the people that be talking online, Lil Dirk is the slickest with his. Like he said, I'm not gonna talk about it. Just I'm gonna talk about it through the music. So a lot of the things that is going on and how he's thinking, he puts in his music. You know, and they all, you know, liking when uh, DJ Academics uh, released it, Lil Tim is Free, they all chimed in and they all had something to say about it, you know? They liked it, like, okay, good. Because, you know, it's harder for us to get him when he's locked up. Now he's out here and now he's in danger for the fact that, let me show you something. Lil Tim is nobody. Every rapper has homeboys like Lil Tim, that's nobody. He is, you could tell he ain't nobody in his hood. You can just look at him. And it's so easy for people like Quando. If Quando Rondo didn't have no money, he wouldn't be shit in the streets. You know, so it's like these guys 
are only in a position they are in because they have money and they have influence. But they're fucking up because little Tim don't have money like that. Whatever money he got, he getting for Quando and them. You know, they may gave him 20 bands or here and there, but he ain't got no real money. So really his protection comes from YB and, and Quando. And Quando can barely protect himself. That's why they ain't going nowhere. And so now the little Tim is out. Now, and the summer's coming up. So I can already see the headlines. You know, something bad's going to happen. And I really believe that they're going to get Tim before they get Quando, before they get YB, before they get anybody in that, that camp. Because he's got the biggest bull's eyes on his head. Not only because he's the one that killed King Von, but he don't have the money and the protection to protect himself. You know, he got to worry about his family and everybody else. He was already in PC when he was locked up, protective custody. So that's telling you right now, he didn't have nobody in there riding with him. Quando and them little set ain't that big. So uh, this is this is about to get all bad, man, you know, with them. They just cannot stay off of social media. You know, you kill somebody, let that shit go. Disrespecting dead, that shit's for the lame. You know, I said that in one of my songs, man. I just don't like that. That's some hating ass, bitch ass shit. I don't give a fuck who does it. Whether it's my my guys from Chicago doing that shit, they started that shit. That shit's just disrespectful, man. You know, if a motherfucker dead, let that shit go. But little Tim, he's out on bail. And let's just see how long it takes before... You know, OTF and Lil Durk and them catch up with them. Because, you know, they all chimed in there. You know, they all pay attention to it. So, you know, let's see what's going to happen when he's by himself or when he's at home or whatever. Because the protection can't stay up forever. These people are going to have other problems like YB locked up. Hell, Kondo may get locked up or anything happen. Anyways, ways to go, Little Tim has a long hard life ahead of him, which I don't think is going to be a long life at all because he's not no rapper. He ain't big time. He don't have security and all that shit. He is the security. So he is in more danger than anybody in that crew. And now that he's out, he, you know, he's his, his name been floating around here and there, but for the most part, it's been Quando and, and YB catching the slack because Lil Tim been locked up. But now he's back out here making videos and trolling shit and just looking for clout. I just can't stand this new generation. But, you know, you get what you got coming to you. You know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. So, you know, he can't sit up there and say uh, that he was uh, shot behind his self-defense because, first of all, he's not paid security. Second of all, he's just a regular-ass street nigga with gang ties. So, therefore, he had, he had no right to shoot that man. He wasn't security. He wasn't even supposed to have a gun. And he shot that man. So all the people that are saying, oh, yeah, he can get self-defense. No, he can't. Quando Rondo may have had a chance to do that, but he can't just say, oh, my homeboy shot him because my life was in danger. No, his life wasn't in danger. Nothing about what King Von was doing was danger. He was just whooping his ass. Nigga, swing back. But instead, you got this little short-ass nigga come out and shoot. They be the fastest bitches, you know, because they ain't got no hands. You know, if it was me... And we see people fighting. I'm going to get out and throw hands. But that's what happens when you got bitches with guns, you know? They're not going to throw hands. They're going to throw bullets in a situation that don't even require shooting. You know, in a situation like that, nigga, get them up. You know, so whatever he has coming to him, he deserves that, you know? I don't have no sympathy. But I want to keep my eyes on this story. You know, I know it's going to be more posts and more drama until one day we wake up and hear that one from either one of the sides is dead. But like I said, you know, I think Lil Durk and him, his pockets is deeper. And they got more hitters, you know, and it's Chicago niggas everywhere. You know, I'm from Chicago, but here, I'm here, I came here in Seattle. That's Chicago niggas. We just all over, you know, so, and we just have a different mentality and the whole world know it. So I'm going to keep my eyes on this and see how this plays out, you know. But like I said, Lil Tim, a Quando Rondo affiliate and the man who killed King Von, was released on a hundred thousand dollar bill, and he's already trolling uh, Dirk and OTF and the rest of them. And of course, they chimed in and responded back, you know. And Lil Reese made a video talking about, "Yeah, we're gonna be smoking you real soon," you know. So I also believe a lot of this shit is also clout chasing on both sides. But I also know that when when the time presents itself, them niggas gonna execute the the motherfucking death warrant. So with that being said, it's kind of fucked up, but this is the time we live in, you know, being a rapper is a death sentence. 
or a federal sentence. Any way it goes, either the, the streets is going to get you or the feds is going to get you. And these cats is out here posting shit online, and that's not good. But this is Real Talk with Tim McGee. Tune in for the next episode and uh, like, support, and hit that notification button, subscribe, and continue to support my channel. Thank you. <clears throat> we gonna roll up real soon on oh, my mama. Happy.